Hello and welcome my friend and how are you doing? And next thing is that what is this exhaust gas recirculation system? And there is a small letters like EGR system. And what is that system? And how it works and why we have that kind of system? This system is just now it is installed in this my engine and this system works so that it takes bad those smoggy smoke exhaust gases from this car's exhaust manifold and it takes those gases when engine is running okay and then those bad exhaust gases goes through this metallic pipe and there is this EG air valve and then it sends these bad exhaust gases back to this engine and these exhaust gases goes in this intake manifold and then it it goes together and it mix by this fresh air and gasoline and then it goes directly back in this my engine and then when engine is running those exhaust gases come back in this exhaust manifold and again some amount of this bad exhaust gases ba comes back in this my valve and this is like all time circle full time circle and then I can think that what is this thing's idea that is there any any mind and what is this benefit okay the benefit is that this system it tries to eliminate and love love make this pollution this exhaust gas pollution lower and it it tries it tries try to be similar system by system like the catalytic converter what is by the way in here this part is catalytic converter but this this e g air system exhaust gas recirculation system some car car makers and models car makers use that system like in that my my example engine it works so that when engine is running and then when we have this uh, uh, specific uh, this engine rotation and engine speed then this my valve automatically opens and then when my car's engine speed and this engine running revs goes down then this valve goes automatically off like close and and this valve open and close system it is it has been made so automati automatically that car's mine computer my computer it controls that system and there is metallic valve in here inside what opens that pipe and there is electric cables in here what goes in this uh, inside what sends this sensor data and then there is also when we look in this this another metallic pipe what goes through there are those exhaust gases they go through that valve and then they goes in here and then they they are in here that pipe and then they go directly in this intake manifold and there's this joint and 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 also in here we have this sensor what measures this exhaust gas situation and this is really full compu computer system and only little bit mechanic in here but there there can be some faulty codes in that system but then if we need to replace that system there is only couple of bolts and nuts what we open and then bolts away and couple of hoses away and cables away and then we install new uh, valve e g air valve in there Okay, and this system's mine purpose is to uh, eliminate car pollution. 
It is like emission control system. Okay, but very interesting because these all pipes they are metallic, they are copper, and this like hot, very hot exhaust gases goes in that way. They rotate. But of course, this pipe is much, much more smaller when we compare that exhaust manifold big catalytic area. It is like only like 5 to 10 percent of those exhaust gases what goes through that system. Okay, that kind of interesting information. And thank you. Okay, and then I planned to show you that how to replace this EG EG air like exhaust gas recycle valve what is in here. And then when we look in here we can see that that there we have this there we have this exhaust manifold. It is in here and there is cylinder block and in here we have then this uh, clutch and gearbox area in here. And in here we have this valve E G air valve. X housed at this uh, gases recycle valve in here. That how I can replace that. Okay. And what kind of tools I need? First, I need to open these big bolts in here. What are this is actually loosened, but I can show that where is, there is my tool. And for that job I need a right side this socket and friends and in that way when I open that in, in my case it is quite big 30 millimeter this friends and then when I open that I can rotate and this this joint is now free and then we have similar similar in here a little bit different position in that joint and there I insert my tool again and then I take this this joint out good and then Next part is that I take this uh, coolant radiator hoses, these two things away, that one and then that one. And for that job I need tongs and I insert my tongs in right in here and then I press and then I move that in here in that way. Press and move in here and then I little bit I make this little bit bigger this my opening area and I insert my this my tongs in here and carefully carefully I rotate that little bit and then this hose is free and then I take my hands and now it's free and there's similar it is in this back area in here and I do same thing in here and a little bit movement and now hoses are free and then I install those hoses in there and then next step is that that I need to open these two bolts and for that purpose I need socket what size is 12 millimeter and then a little bit longer Par and friends. Then I insert that in here, and then, then I I start to open this bolt, that bolt, and also this second. Now they are loosen. Now I can use this one. And it seems that OK, 
Okay, and there is first bolt. It is quite low. And then the second. This is a little bit tight, and that's I take my friends. Okay. That position is not opens. Not opens. And there is only one nut. And now this part should be free. And here we have then this EGR valve. And in that area, when we look in there, it is a little bit dusty, and this one is much more dusty, because there is those exhaust gases. But now this part is free, and there is these connectors, and then I can install new part in their back, and then this my EGR valve has been replaced. Okay, that kind of information and have a nice day to you. And there is of course those information that this maker is Hitachi and Nissan. And this come from most probably, probably from Japan. Okay, thank you.